Ho 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 and welcome to the 21st day of hacking here on Try Hack Me. Now, I want to apologize not having my image in the video today because I had some issues with the sound and I have no idea what went wrong. So we're going to do this uh, room. So I'm actually putting and applying the sound over the room as a secondary thing. I'm not used to that, so I really hope I can follow up. Now, um, we are going to go straight into the exploit in this video. And you can see that there are different kind of repositories. Already you looked at that, the gift wrapper and the gift wrapper pipeline. And we're gonna use the one called gift wrapper because it contains a vulnerability that we can execute and the pipeline is secured. So using the gift wrapper, you get clone that to your own machine or the, well, the attack box I use. Now we can just edit the make file and <laughs> by editing that, you can actually push it to the server and make it execute commands. Uh, I need to do a manual startup of the gift wrapper pipeline by clicking the green arrow you can see on the, the same path, dashboard gift wrapper build and gift wrapper pipeline. Click that button and whatever you pushed will be then scheduled and then it will be run. And if you put in the command in the make file, well then basically, you can execute that command and boom, well, you're set and you execute commands directly on the server. So that's really nice. So what I'm doing right now is I'm talking about, you know, different kind of questions. We're gonna find the uh, version of the Jinking node. And that's pretty easy. Just go into the make file and add uname tag A. Uh, that's what I'm doing right now. So we're gonna get cloned the repository if you already haven't do that, done that, sorry. That's what I talk about there. You see the make file. And it's different how the repositories are secured. This one is bad to get secured. Inside that file, there's a different command when you open it the first time, but I already did some things, but you're gonna write in your name tag A. Then you're gonna do uh, go ahead back to the command line and do a git add and a dot to add the file inside of the folder to the git. Um, commitments repository, we're going to call this, <laughs> and commit it and then push it. And the password is guest, sorry, the user is guest and the password is password123, as also provided. And then uh, you just go back to the gift wrapper, you execute it, press on the main name of it, go to the console output, you can see it running right there because we were fast. Just click the, the name, the number of it, sorry. Good to go there and see it. Go to console output. Scroll down a bit and then you can see the uname a command being executed. Now that's really it, you know. <laughs> that's the same. So when you're gonna get the output of the other question, you just do the same steps again, complete the same steps. And you uh, do a, a cat to the var lib Jenkins secret key. And you're gonna get the secret key. That's pretty easy. So while doing that, I'm gonna be a bit quiet so you can see what I'm doing. Please pause the video if there's any need to re-see the steps again. So now I'm adding it one more time, committing it as I talked about, pushing it, writing the password, the username. Remember to press the button on the gift wrapper pipeline and then manually start the build or the pipeline process. It goes to the console, see it running one more time. It's task number eight in my, my case. It could be a different number in your case. Go through the console output and then check the output of the cat command. Now, what I'm gonna try afterwards here is a little different thing. So. I'm gonna try and get reverse shield. So <laughs> this was not a part of try hack me, but if you were to stop right here, you can do that. And uh, the rest of the video where I'm trying to get a reverse shield on the box, which is successfully done in the end, I'm gonna put on some music and basically just say, ho ho, <laughs> gonna see you again tomorrow on the 22nd for a new challenge on try hack me. And really hope that you liked the video. I'm gonna go ahead and start some music for you so you can watch how I got a shell 
on the box using this particular vulnerability we have already.